to Super Gamer, and <sighs> this is awkward. So basically, what happened is that Derby Eleven is getting revenge on me for me sending him ET for Atari to review by making me play Ninja Breadman for the Wii. <sighs> Ninja Breadman, created by Data Design Interactive who is notorious for making some of the worst games on the Nintendo Wii, and this is one of them. Let's get started. Hordes of snapping cupcakes, angry bees, and jelly monsters have taken over Candyland, and only one man can stop this evil army of monster cakes. He's one tough cookie, a guy who will crumble under the pressure. He's Ninja Breadman! That's what the box says, at least. And it's only one half of the paragraph. So uh, that is at least one positive. The story is explained in just a few sentences. But what about the aesthetics? The story may be passable, but the aesthetics? Oh, heck no, they are not. This game looks like a Nintendo 64 game. A bad one at that. I mean... Just look at how lazily designed these enemies look. Cupcakes, bees, and cakes. I mean, the cupcakes and cakes, I understand, but bees? How does that fit into a candy land? It also, it also doesn't help that I have a phobia of bees. Though I'm sure a lot of people do. The music is also quite forgettable, with the exception of the training music stage. Why is that? Well, because they actually used the same music for the training level and the first level. Why do that? But beyond that, I couldn't tell you what the music was in the other stages if I tried. And speaking of the stages... There are only four of them in this whole entire game, including the training level. So really, there's only three levels in this whole game. After that, well, I'll get to that later, but it's still a poor design choice. And speaking of poor design choices, oh my god, the control is so bad, it's practically unplayable. Okay, so to jump, you have to shake the Wii Remote. But let me tell you, it doesn't always work. However, there actually is an easier way to jump. Wanna know how? You press the Z button. And the game doesn't tell you you can do that. So you play through the training stage and learn the mechanics. One of them is the sword, which you use by swinging the Wii Remote sideways. But then comes the two problems with this mechanic. One, it's not that reliable. It's actually better to just shoot ninja stars at the enemies. Why? Simply because you never, ever run out of ammo for these things. So you can use them until your heart's content. And there's the second problem. The collision detection is all sorts of off. Look at this, I'm trying to hit these cupcakes, but it's not reading my sword swings. Now look here, I'm trying to enter the rocket ship, but for whatever reason, it's not detecting it. Okay, so what is it exactly do you do in this game? Well, every level has rocket fuel scattered across the level. You collect the ball and enter the ship at the end of the level. You do this four more times. All right. So, what happens when you beat the entire game? This. You play through the whole game, and it just kicks you back to the tile screen. Are you kidding me? This game can just die. <sighs> you know, I've always wondered, how much does this game cost? Okay, hold on, let me, let me check. Ten, so we put forty dollars. 
<laughs> and you know what's sad? I'm sure in Australia it'd be like a hundred fifty. <laughs> well, congratulations, Data Design. You have created a worthless game which you overpriced ridiculously. I can't believe. Thirty two. <laughs> If you are, if you're even thinking about buying this game, I want you to do me a favor. Take the money you are gonna use, put it in your toilet, and flush it down. Why? Cause it'll give you more entertainment than this game. I'm, I'm sorry. I know. I know this is not professional. I know this is not professional. <laughs> oh my god. Thirty dollars. <sighs> okay, Ethan, I reviewed the game. Are we through now? What? Who said we were through? What? You mean after what I just played, you wouldn't be so cruel to make me play another game, right? Right? No! 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 That'll teach you to mess with me! <laughs> so apparently I have another game to play. And that game is... I know this is the second to the Nintendo Wii. Alright, I know this is the second. It's terrible. The graphics are worse than your bed bed's graphics. The music's just as forgettable. The platforming is atrocious and unplayable. The collision detection is just as bad. The controls are just as terrible. It's an abomination of mankind. So, you know what? Good. I don't exactly see the point of playing this game. While I still think that Ninja Breadman is an atrocity, I still had the patience to finish it. Anubis II, on the other hand, is just not worth it. I must warn you, never, ever play Anubis II. Don't even try to emulate it. It is not worth it worth five bucks of your money that I just wasted. But I did so I could talk to you guys and tell you how horrible it is. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna destroy this game. Safety first. Execution commence. All right, one, two, three, smash. Okay. Die. 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 Yeah! Come on! Justice will be served! Ah! Yes! Oh, but we're not done yet! Take that! How about the other side? Oh, yes! Victory! Hurry! Justice is mine! Screw you! Darby! Eleven! I hate you! Ah! 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 
Yes! Oh, yeah! Mm. Oh. Justice will be served! Yes! America! Goodbye to you, Anubis the Second! You guy, you my friend, are so two years ago. <laughs> I hate you. I also hate W11. That felt so good. <laughs> okay. So, and then I just want to say thank you all so much for subscribing. I probably wouldn't have be here without you guys, and I can't believe this is what I'm going to do with you guys. I've loved this every minute of it, despite the games I've been playing. And honestly, I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. Even if I do discontinue to Super Gamer. Until then, I'm the Super Gamer, and if you'll excuse me. Take that game. Yeah!